guys, this is Mike, also known as The One Fig Man. It is the end of March. I have all my trees starting to uh, leaf out. So it is time for me to bring them out for the trees to see some of that spring weather. I invite you to join me while I bring these trees out and show you my setup, or at least start to lay the trees out outside. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's go outside and check out the space over there. If you guys recall, last year this space is where I had my vegetable garden. This year I decided to put some compost down underneath the uh, what you see is a black tarp and uh, let it uh, kind of sit there and let the uh, soil rest. Before um, last year I had two rows of fig trees but in front of this box. I also had another two rows to the left of me and a bunch behind me. Because I'm letting this rest, I decided to put some black tarp down, which is actually a weed barrier. The vegetable garden became way overwhelmed with weeds last year. The weather was kind of off. It was pretty warm all, uh, all winter, or most of the winter. So I'm concerned with the excessive weeds. So by putting that compost down and turning the soil excessively, and putting the weed barrier down, I'm hoping to kill a lot of those weed seeds off. I got the idea of this weed barrier from Millennial Gardener. He is a user out on Our Figs, which is a forum for fig trees and discussing figs. He had mentioned bringing down, the, putting down the web, the weed barrier, due to the the color of it being black, absorbs a lot of heat, and that will accelerate the ripening of the figs. So this year, I'm going to give that a shot, and um, I'm going to put the the fig trees out on the weed barrier, as well as trying to set up a couple rows here and a couple rows to the left of me. I have more trees this year, so it's gonna be a challenge. I will throw the link below to the Millennial Gunner's website, uh, YouTube channel. Good channel, good guy. Definitely recommend checking him out, shooting him some questions if you have any as well. So let's get started. Let's go take a look at, uh, at the fig trees and bringing them out. Peace, guys. So guys, um, that's uh, pretty much unloading them all. So now I definitely have some more shifting around to do. This is uh, definitely gonna be a challenge. Definitely have more pots. I don't have no idea where I put them last year, but this year I definitely spaced them out a bit more. Last year they were too congested. I don't think there was enough airflow. So I wanted to space them out this year. So I'm gonna give you another quick tour around and uh, we'll wrap it up. With all of our cheese out, I took the opportunity to use some free child labor and he's going to spray down all the trees, just give them their first uh, drink of water, just a light drink, loosen up the soil. So my helper here is uh, going around, we're checking out uh, which trees survived the winter in my basement. We're giving it its first water. You having fun, man? Hey kiddo, what do you want to tell everyone? I'm having fun. Are you? What you doing? Down the trees. That is the finish of unloading the trees. I have some more one gallon pots downstairs, but I think I can handle those. These uh, 10, 15, 20 gallon pots are getting way too heavy for me. I'm starting to get older and older here, so I really appreciate my gardener's help. So thank you guys if you're watching, I appreciate it. So this year I, uh, I spaced the trees out a lot further than last year because I felt I just wanted a little more airflow between the trees, help those leaves stay a little bit drier. Also make sure that more sunlight is penetrating into the trees. 
The next step I have here, the next challenge I have here is trying to figure out how to set up my irrigation system. I only put in three zones last year. I never expected to have this many trees. That was, uh, I guess, foolish on my part. The addiction really takes hold. But each zone can only handle around 35 to 40 trees maybe. I forgot what I calculated. I'll definitely do some flow tests this year when I get the irrigation system going. I wanna make sure there are no cracks as well. Make sure I have the appropriate pressure. But I'm gonna to have to get these guys on, uh, on zones of 35 to 40, I think. And I have over 200 trees, so I just don't have enough zones. So I have to figure out how to space this out. So you can see more of the trees that came out. I have some air layers that I started from last year. These all need to be up potted into the larger pots. What I'm gonna do is go through each of these trees. You may have seen me in the video already starting to pinch. After I, uh, I spray them, I'm gonna throw in some uh, Osmocote probably or another fertilizer on top. So this is the video. I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked it, definitely appreciate the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely appreciate the subscribe. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.